Hey there, in this video we will be discussing how to uh, set up the real time database using Superbase. So the last time we set up our database and created a table and we were able to access it via the so let me log in and show you where we were at the last point. Right, so let's say geoform and let's say password and we were able to access the data using the get data button but it was not updating automatically so what we want is to use the real time database of Superbase right so before we get started go to your table and check its policies right so go to its settings right edit table and the you must be able to see that real time is disabled you can enable that and if it is already enabled that's good so we will be able to listen to the changes now okay so let's save it so now we can listen to the database in real time right so we do not need to create a different table we will be listening to the same table right so we can see here also that it is real time enabled and that's good so let's go to the documentation now so we can see that we can listen to the database changes so we can listen to the database changes using the superbase dot from and then stream so basically a stream function can be used and then we can simply listen to the stream or simply use a stream builder to consume it right other than that we can also subscribe to our channel specifically like if uh, you want to get updates when it is inserted or deleted very specific changes so you can do that you can unsubscribe and uh, these are the three four uh, functions right so majorly you will be using either listen to the whole database changes or list subscribe to a specific channel right so in this video i'll be showing you how to listen to database changes so let's see what we have so currently we are using the basic uh, get data to reload this page so let's go to database and delete some data because this is overflowing so let's go to our database um, this is a database we can delete the items from here so let's say we want to delete uh, let's say that should be fine and let's delete these eight rows and draft the dating you can see that it is not updated here as well right so we can use the get data again and it will update so we want a real time page right so let's go to our code base and create a new page so let's say it's realme real time uh, database and page dot dot and let's copy the uh, data from the db page right so the code will be similar but only the logic would change right so the interface would be same and we would not uh, let's rename the file first let's say real time db page right and let's say uh, real time db page and let's remove the get data button because now we'll be listening to a stream here and other than that let's create a database service for the real time one as well right so in under our services let's create a real time db service and let's copy the code from the database service and let's change now okay so we will change the name first so let's say real time database service now we are using the get all items here to basically get the items once right but in the documentation we saw that we need to use the stream method right from we are using from currently also let's put it down so from we are using but instead of select we are supposed to use stream right and pass the primary key so primary key you can basically check in your database so go to your database and you can go to the database section and go to your columns and you can basically see that uh, wait uh, there might be a better representation yeah so here you can see that id is a primary key so that is what you have to mention there so let's say we want to use the stream function and the primary key in our case is id so we can mention multiple keys here but currently we only have one key right so let's remove this async and all these things and instead of a future we'll be returning stream here, right so let's remove the await and everything and let's return this so basically the stream function returns a stream to us right and we will be consuming it so here they are listening to it but we are simply returning it and we'll be listing it to the 
through the interface itself. The add would be similar because we are basically adding to the same database. Only we want to listen to the data real time, right? So let's go to the database uh, page, real time database page. Let's change the DB service to real time DB service, right? Real time DB service and oh wait, it has changed the name itself. Let's change. Uh, yeah, that is what you want to do. Let's say real time DB service. So now this is a real time DB service instance and simply we are adding the item that is fine and here we are building the list so basically the list that we were seeing in this page right this list is built using the future builder here but instead of future builder now we'll be using the stream builder right because now we are consuming a stream so let's say stream builder and we can see that get all the items returns a stream so that's good now instead of future let's say stream and uh, that should be good to go right so now let's go to our actions page right and in our actions page we will add one more button saying real time database page right so let's change this and say real time db page and let's change the return ad as well so real time db page right so that should be good let's reload the application And now we are in the login screen again. Let's log in. Because remember that uh, we have set the policies such that only if we are logged in, only then we can access those things, right? So let's say password. Let's log in. And let's go to the real time database page. And we are getting four items. And currently we do have four items only, right? So let's go to our database. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, so five items, zero index. So if we get four, right? So let's add an item and you can see that uh, it is added here as well, right? So you can see it is updated here as well and it is updated here as well. So that is what we wanted. So it is uh, in real time as we can see. Let's try to delete one from here and let's see if it is updated or not. So we will delete it and yes, it is updated. Uh, let's delete from the top. Let's see. Uh, that also works fine. Let's delete everyone. And yeah, that should be good. Let's delete. And you can see that is a it is updated in real time, right? So we can add data. It is shown in real time. Meanwhile, in the uh, Superbase DB, normally when we were consuming it, we had to add data and then we had to get data in order to refresh it, right? But in the real time one, as the name suggests, it's done in real time, right? So uh, you can check the other things in the documentation itself basically the subscribe one the unsubscribe and basically the code is mentioned here itself right so you can uh, similarly you had to pass the channel here right so we had items names they have countries name right and similarly you can uh, listen to all the changes or let's say you want to listen to inserts only you have the code available here so uh, yeah this was just for a beginner and now you can get uh, started and explore these all things right so that is it about real time as well so we have covered storage real time authentication and database so pretty much everything is covered functions we might use functions as well right so we will cover it in a separate video but yeah that is it about uh, super base and finally we'll be also creating a chat application in order to uh, get an essence of all of these so basically we'll be uploading images uploading files listening in real time and accessing the database authenticating user that all will be done in a separate video finally i'd also like to mention that uh, superbase is currently hosting an hackathon so make sure you participate in it right so amazing gifts and amazing people here right you can see the gifts uh, mentioned here and uh, you can also see that uh, it is wait i'll show you so basically it is currently ongoing and the last date is 21st may so you have to submit before 21st and there is no registration as such so basically you just have to submit it before this date and the link is also provided in the blog itself so this is the form that you are supposed to submit right currently no one has submitted that's good so make sure you check this out and participate in it and that's all for this video and see you in the next one peace mm -hmm.